I'm sitting here with juror number one. Hi! <laughs> also known as Brittany. Yes! <laughs> who was just voted out by her former housemates I in was. a vote of seven to one. Mm -hmm. Now, we saw you become very good friends with your fellow Jokers, yes. Team Jokers, Aza. <laughs> Jokers all day, baby! <laughs> Jokers, uh, Aza and Big D. Yes. And even after this team twist stopped and yep. dissolved, you remained close to them. Oh, of course. Do you think you had other allies in the house? Oh, for sure. For sure. Um, I was really close to Claire and Tiff. Um, Derek X and I, after Team Blindside and Christian last week, developed a really great bond together. Um, he entrusted me with going up on the block as the pawn and then being able to execute our plan perfectly, which we did. Um, so I would probably say Aza, Big D, Claire, Tiff, Derek X. And honestly, I did trust Xavier. I knew Xavier's number one was Eliza, but I did genuinely trust Xavier. I thought he was okay. Again, I cannot confirm or deny anything that you're saying because yeah. you are on the jury. But I can <laughs> ask you this. Sure. What was your strategy in this game? Yeah, my strategy in this game was very simple. And I feel like I had to really change the strategy because of the game that I was presented. Uh, my strategy was to survive and be honest. Um, because I was on the block for 22 out of 44 days. So that tells me, okay, even though I'm being told that I'm the pawn, I need to use the block to my advantage. So weirdly enough, my strategy was the block. Um, being able to use my one-on-one -on -one time, which is unsolicited time with every single person in the house, to gain information the way that I needed to in order to further my information going into the next week was exactly how I was playing the game. Being the, oh my gosh, I'm on the block, I'm so sorry, man, feel bad for me story. Honestly, worked for a really long time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are yeah. you telling me those were crocodile tears? Some of them were. The first week, the first week they were real. The first week they were real with Kylan's HOH. The HOH with Xavier, I would say those were more crocodile tears than they were real. Um, but I would say DX's HOH absolutely were crocodile tears because I knew I was coming off no matter what. If he had won the HOH or, or if he had won the veto or I had won the veto that week. Um, and then this week were obviously real because I didn't really know what was going to happen this week. But no, some of them were. Some of them were. Okay. Um, we can't talk about that much because you're on the jury, but I do want to ask you your final thoughts before we send you off to jury to house. jury. Um, I am forever grateful and thankful for this experience. This has been a dream come true, and I know the dream is not done yet because I am on jury, um, but it truly has just been an experience of a lifetime, and the fact that I am sitting here right now is, is so uncharacteristic for what I've gone through in my entire life, um, and there's so much the house guests don't know about me, which is insane, so I'm, I'm excited to hopefully and very soon get to share with them the parts about me that they don't know. Explain what you're talking about. Absolutely. So there's so there's two things basically that I've been hiding from the house guests. Uh, number one is that I'm a fourth degree black belt and three time world champion in uh, martial arts. So it's pretty cool. Um, the Chuck Norris system is amazing. It's changed my life forever. Started it 12 years ago. But if I would have told them that I was a fourth degree black belt, I would have been kicked out. So <laughs> that was probably a good strategy not to say it to anyone. Um, and then the second thing is that I was diagnosed with autism at 22 months, and I am a proud survivor and fighter of autism. Um, and I sit before uh, every. Everyone today is someone who has conquered it. I still deal with autism every single day. There's still things that I have hardships with and things that I struggle with on a daily basis, but I am sitting here proud as hell that I am a woman who lives probably with autism. And how do you think you did in the house? You know, I think I did pretty damn well. <laughs> I had the hardest deck of cards stacked against me. You know, when you're put up on the block week two, it's a very difficult way to assimilate into the game when you are constantly in the center of the attention. So for me, no one knows what that feels like, except for me. So I'm very excited for new people to experience the block. That's not me. Um, but they're losing their block queen in the house. So they're all going to experience what the block feels like. So dare I ask? who you want to experience being on the block? Oh, I would love Kyle and Nesby to experience the block together, uh, uh, particularly. Um, but you know what? I would love them to experience the block, but also I think that Alyssa is very bitter about the fact that Christian had to leave last week um, and that I was in any way associated with it, which she does not know about. No one does, um, except for DX and myself. So I feel like I would love to see Alyssa come to jury, and I would love to see Kylan and SB come to jury, and I do not want to see Asa or Big D walk through those doors. Anyone but the two of them. <laughs> that I knew. That you knew. Yeah. <laughs> the friendship was beautiful to watch. Oh my gosh. They are two of the best human beings I've ever met in my life. 
those two and like it and like we but we weren't just teammates though we were roommates we they cooked for me because i can't cook very well but they were also so accommodating because i'm a glu i'm allergic to gluten and dairy and they always cooked a different set of dish for me specifically um so they were just the most like thoughtful people ever so i mean i have friends for life in the both of them and i really really hope that one of them won that hoh and i hope the other one is crying for that one winning hoh <laughs> i think that might be your best takeaway from this whole oh experience. absolutely Brittany, thank you so much. Thank you. And have fun in jury. Yes, absolutely. Outside all the time. <laughs> Yay, and a pool. <laughs> I was told there was a pool, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.